So now in this video, we're just going to take a quick look at a way to make a knot gate with a mechanical switch right here. So we have a load that is being powered. Main thing that we're interested in is the LED being on right there. So um, the uh, input is actually off, switches are input, and the LED is on for the most part. Remember, this is just a demonstration circuit, it's not a practical circuit. If I turn the switch on right here on the top, then the LED is off, the, L the output is off. LED is the output. So you can see if we close the switch there, we have a direct connection to ground, much harder to get to ground through the LED, and uh, therefore the LED turns off. Again, it's harder to get uh, through the resistor and then through the LED than through the switch. So when it's allowed to go through the switch, of course, more current's going to flow through there, uh, quite a bit more current. Be aware of that. Now make sure you also put the LED in uh, the right direction or else it will not light up. If you put it backwards, it won't light up anyways. Uh, so we got the longer lead, the anode down uh, lower here to the resistor, shorter lead, the cathode up there, just cause I like how that looks uh, better when we uh, wire up the switch like this. So usually I like to work positive up down towards uh, negative, uh, but uh, sometimes I gotta wire it around the other way. So comes to the truth table, one and zeros, that's what's on the truth table is ones and zeros. They can mean a number of things. So um, one thing that it can mean, that's all we're gonna do in this video is one is on and zero is off. So right now the switch is off. So you jump over, what's the output gonna be? It's gonna be on, we have that LED is on. Now, when the switch is on, switch is the input, then the LED is off. So again, it'd be much, much better instead of this setup, have a high value resistor going to the base of a transistor that turns on and it connects the LED to the uh, supply voltage. And then when you close the switch, that grounds the base if it's an NPM bipolar junction transistor or an N channel MOSFET or something, it uh, grounds the control pin of whatever transistor you're using, if it's N type, and that will turn the transistor off and the load off. So then you just have a very small amount of leakage current. There's also integrated circuits where you don't have um, hardly any current, almost no current at all, uh, if you connect an input to ground or whatever. Um, so, uh, you know, you would build on this, but this helps illustrate the basic principle. Seeing the switch version of these uh, uh, logic gates helped me out a lot. The NOT gate is the most basic logic gate. So, in any case, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help a lot. I'll see you in the next video.